another model that is often used to calculate nuclear uh, potentials is that of the uh, spherical harmonic oscillator, sometimes known as the isotropic harmonic oscillator. In this model, uh, we assume that there is a potential uh, with a form uh, V of R is 1 half m omega squared r squared, so that the potential grows uh, with r squared in the way you expect. Uh, and then uh, the equation, uh, the Schrodinger equation, still has its uh, angular solutions of the spherical harmonics, but the radial equation then becomes uh, d squared by dr squared plus 2m over h bar squared times the energy of the state with uh, nl uh, minus 1 half m omega squared r squared, that's the potential term, minus h bar squared l, l plus 1 over 2m r squared. That whole operator acts on the uh, radial function to give zero. So that we have, again, the kinetic part, the energy eigenvalues, which I've moved on to the left-hand side here, the potential term, and the centrifugal barrier, all giving rise to this, uh, or all acting on the function that needs to go to zero. Uh, with the definition of a, a new variable, R just uh, connected to the radial variable R. Uh, call this uh, square root of m omega over h bar times R. The solutions uh, for u uh, of rho are again going to be using the associated Laguerre polynomials, uh, just as the Coulomb case did, but uh, they have a slightly different form. So this goes as e to the minus rho squared over 2, uh, rho to the l plus 1, times the Laguerre polynomial, but with this funny n plus l minus 1 half as the order, and then l plus 1 half uh, as the suborder Laguerre polynomial of rho. Uh, with this input, then, the energy eigenstates will be h bar omega 2n plus l minus a half, where if we take uh, lambda, we define a new variable lambda, 2n uh, plus l minus 2, then uh, ENL equals h bar omega times lambda plus 3 halves. Uh, so we see that even when lambda is 0 uh, and lambda, the smallest value is 0, we have an energy of 3 half h bar omega. Uh, you may remember that the one-dimensional uh, harmonic oscillator uh, has a zero point energy of one half h bar omega. In this case, we have uh, one half h bar omega from each of the three directions, so we have three uh, h bar omega. In the pictures here, I've drawn uh, this it, in the upper part, I grabbed this picture, uh, and it's the uh, solutions in one dimension to the, the uh, simple harmonic oscillator, and you see that at the energy level of h bar, uh, one half h bar omega, we have this simple function with no zeros uh, and an even uh, parity. Uh, the next one up has this odd parity, uh, zero, one, zero at the center. Notice uh, these functions curve, uh, they have this curve down for the first one, uh, then it hits the barrier and it starts to decay away and curve up. That's true of all these functions. Uh, and then, you know, as you go up, uh, in the order, you have more and more zeros and more uh, 
variation, and that goes to the energy. Uh, at For the three-dimensional one, I've just drawn positive r here, and here are the solutions in energy. So we go up to three halves, and here is the first solution. We go up to five halves, and here is the second solution. Uh, and But when we go up to seven halves, there's two solutions now. Um, one, you know, and then uh, again as we go up. So as it turns out, uh, this is the one s state, the one uh, n equals one, l equals zero. This is n equals one, l equals one. But when we go up to the next level, we have two. We have n equals two, l equals. Uh, we have n equals zero, uh, n equals one, l equals two. But we also have, uh, and th that is this one. But we also have n equals 2, l equals 0, and that's this state. And we go up, so every time we go up two levels, we add another level of n. So we have, uh, at each level we have, so for n equals 1, we have l equals 0, l equals 1, l equals 2, l equals 3, l equals 4, l equals 5, and so forth. But we start at the third level, and we have l, for n equals 1, we have l equals 0. And so every two levels up, we add another uh, n level. So uh, when we do that, we get a diagram uh, that in energy levels looks something like this. So here's the har harmonic oscillator, and they've drawn in from zero here. Uh, you know the the first state, which which is a one s. So n equals one s is L equals 0, and then a 1P is the next one up, but at the next level we have a 2S and 1D, 2P and 1F, and then at the next level we add in the N equals 3, so we have 3S, 2D, 1G, and again we go up uh, in orders like that. Now in, uh, in real, in a more realistic potential, you have to cut off the harmonic oscillator and you get a potential like this that tends to lower these states and, and split some of these uh, states with two or three. But if we just take the harmonic oscillator levels and consider, so uh, the first state in the 1s state, we can put two protons or two neutrons in that state, and so we're going to get two from that. The next one is a 1p, and uh, so in the p state, uh, there are, that's angular momentum 1, that you can have angular, m equals 1, m equals 0, m equals minus 1, that's 3. In each one of those, you can put in two protons or two neutrons, so you have 6 to go with that, uh, but plus the 2 gives 8, and so uh, we see that in uh, this diagram, we have two here. Uh, we go up to here, we have eight. Uh, we go to the next level, we have 20, uh, which is, uh, so when we have uh, 1d and 2s, we have uh, the, the 1d state, there's 5d L values. Uh, m values for L equals 2, and then times 2 for up and down, we'll get 10 from that, plus 2 from the 2s state, uh, and then plus the 6 plus the 2 from the previous states, and we get a total of 20. So the nice thing here is we've reproduced the, new, the level uh, 20 that we expected. However, as we go up, we don't produce any more, except maybe the 168 uh, once we get up to the highest level. So the spherical harmonic oscillator, like the square well, produces some of the energy levels, the shell numbers uh, that we might expect, the magic numbers, but not all of them.